Do I look brighter? I got yet another light. I know in YouTube videos, it's like you just see them and you don't see what's on the other side, but I'm just being beamed to death with lights, even though I'm right in front of a window. I didn't know it was gonna be this much work. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. We are back with another Tratnoin video and honestly, it's one that I should have made a long time ago. I probably should have made this video right when I started talking about Tratnoin early on because it's a question that I get a lot from people and Disclaimer, I am not a dermatologist, licensed esthetician, anything like that. So I understand you watch my videos for fun and a lot of the times it helps you out, but just keep that in mind when you ask me questions on Instagram DM. Back to the point. I get the question a lot of my tretinoin isn't working or my skin is still purging or it's been six weeks and nothing's changed or nothing's changing in either direction. Just a lot of misinformation or things that are going on while you're using tretinoin that aren't normal in terms of you start, you have the purge, your skin gets better. And honestly, it's not that simple for everybody. Not all the time do you just have this up and down with your tretinoin. My tret journey has gone up and down and up and down and back and forth. I mean, I'm breaking out all over my forehead right now because tretinoin is not a miracle drug. Okay, I'm getting off on a tangent. But the point of today's video is to kind of break down five different areas in your skincare journey with tretinoin that may need tweaking or a reason as to why your tretinoin may not be working in the way that you expected. If you are new here or you're new on tretinoin, don't forget to subscribe. We talk about more than just skincare on this channel. We also talk about makeup. We talk about acne. We do vlogs and I would love to have you subscribe. Okay, so the first reason that your tretinoin may be irritating or not working is the strength of your tretinoin. So for example, I am on tretinoin 0.025% and I get a lot of flack for that because I have been on 0.025% for almost two years. A lot of people assume that you need to continue to be going up and up and up, but if the tretinoin is working and your acne is clearing, then why would I continue to go up in strength? Not everybody needs a 0.1% of tretinoin to see results and I am one of those people. So if you look at it from either side, you may have been prescribed tretinoin 0.025% and it may not be enough for you. You may need another 0.025% to get you to where you need to be to help with your skincare. It could be the opposite. You could have been prescribed 0.5 and you really need 0.25. It really is hard to determine until you've used it for at least six weeks. If you feel like after six weeks you're not seeing any improvement, it may be time to bump up with your dermatologist or possibly bump down. I would say test it out for six weeks and see how your skin feels. Really after 12 weeks is when you'll notice results. But for me on 0.025%, I feel great with it. I have no intention of increasing at this time, but we'll see what the future holds. Okay, the second reason and the reason that I give the most via Instagram DM answers is your frequency of use. So for example, I use my tretinoin every three nights. That equates to about two times a week to three times a week. I know, again, people love to gripe on me for not using it as much as they do or as much as people say they should every single night. But again, it works for me, so I'm not going to mix it up. I have tried going to every other night. I've even tried every night and my skin just gets too irritated, too dried out and too red for me to handle it. I have super sensitive skin. I want the effects of tretinoin and so the routine that I found is every three nights. It took me a while to get to that point. And so frequency of use is a super important tool in your tretinoin toolkit. If you feel like your skin is red, flaking, peeling, you wanna cut that down, okay? If that also plays into your strength, these all go together. So the strength of your tretinoin and how many nights a week you're using it. If it's a lower strength, you can probably use it more nights a week. If you're building up at 0.5%, you wanna take it slower and use it less frequently. It's really a slow and steady wins the race type of game when it comes to tretinoin. It's not a dive in and get started right away using it every night. I feel like the best way to figure this out is to continue to slowly increase over a week's time. So in the first week of using it, you use it one time. The second week you use it two times. The third week you use it, okay, maybe three times. And once you get to that point, 
see, okay, I'm up to three times a week now, my skin is really irritated, or take it even slower than that and go backwards and say, you know, it feels irritated, I think I'll go back to twice a week. It's really up to you in deciding how much you feel like your skin can take while still being healthy and man maintaining its skin barrier. It's a personal journey 100%, but if you're feeling those really strong, itchy, peeling skin irritation, I would definitely go down in your frequency. Number three, and another very common one that I go through with people is your skincare routine alongside your tretinoin. Now I'm not gonna harp on this one too long because I have entire skincare routines for morning and evening and a recent new morning skincare routine for the summer that I can link down below. You really wanna be careful about what products you incorporate into your routine while you're on tretinoin. I have people reach out and tell me that they are using BHAs, PHAs, acids, peels, vitamin C, all of these things that they had in their routine when they were trying to clear their acne before their life with prescription strength acne medication. And I'm sorry to say that at least for the first three to four months on tretinoin, you should just set that all aside in a drawer and don't even look at it. Especially when it comes to exfoliation, what retinol or tretinoin and retin-A's are doing is pushing the layers of your skin up faster than that 28 day cycle that you typically have. And that is essentially exfoliating, it's not an actual exfoliant, but it's bringing new skin cells to the top of your skin. You don't wanna exfoliate those off because they're fresh, they need to be taken care of, they need to be moisturized, you need to put sunscreen on your skin to protect that new fresh layer that is coming up from your tretinoin. I'm not saying that I never use exfoliating products, I've been on tretinoin for almost two years now and I have found in the summer that I can mix in a BHA or a face wash every once in a while. But for the most part, you really don't need to go out of your way to exfoliate quite as much as you did before your tretinoin days. On top of that, it is so important that you wear sunscreen while you are on tretinoin. Your skin becomes more sensitized in general, making it easier for you to get a sunburn. I've seen some gnarly pictures and videos of people who didn't listen and didn't wear sunscreen after starting tretinoin and it can legitimately ruin your skin and increase your chance at skin cancer. Again, if you're looking for really simple, easy drugstore style routines, I can link the two down below that I did last year. They're very easy to follow along, super simple, and will aid in your skin health while you're using tretinoin. Just stay away from all the extras. I know it's gonna be hard because you spent all your money on that, but at the end of the day, trust me, your skin will thank you for having a simple hydrating routine with SPF. I realized at the beginning of the video I said there's five things, but there's really only four. And the last one is the vehicle that your tretinoin comes in. And by that, I mean there are two types of tretinoin that you can get prescribed from your dermatologist. One is a cream and one is a gel. I have both, I've used both, so I feel like I can kind of speak on this a little bit. There are pros and cons to both the cream and the gel, and I'll tell you that I have both of them in 0.025%. I had a acne specialist talk to me about my skin while I was on tretinoin and told me that I needed to switch to the gel because the gel is better for acne prone people. But I was confused by that because you always go on tretinoin because of your acne, most of the time, unless you're getting it for anti-aging, regardless of if it's cream or if it's gel. But I talked to her a little bit more and it turns out that the gel is just easier on the skin than the actual vehicle formula of the tretinoin cream, if that makes sense. I had been on the cream for a while now when I switched to the gel and it did not work for me and let me tell you why. If you have very sensitive skin and tretinoin is harsh on your skin, the gel is gonna be harsh. It is not moisturizing, it's quite drying, but it is better for people who maybe have severe acne or cystic acne because the actual ingredients in the product itself are not quite as pore clogging as the cream. However, I find that the cream is more gentle on my sensitive skin, and while it may clog my pores in the meantime while it's working, it doesn't irritate my skin half as bad as the gel did, and the symptoms that I was getting from me using the gel, the dryness, the peeling, the irritation, I wasn't seeing with the cream because it's just a bit more gentle. I also like to sandwich method with my tretinoin and I just find that the cream works a lot better for that because the gel is so thin and lightweight that it just dries immediately, which is fine. Again, there's nothing wrong with either of these and one or the other is going to work better for you, but it's worth a discussion with your dermatologist to figure out which one may be better for you in the long run. I'm not saying that being on one or the other is detrimental to your tretinoin routine, but 
in conjunction with all of the other things we've talked about, your routine, the vehicle, the strength, the frequency of use, it's something to consider. I know this was a short video today, but it's something that was on my mind and I really wanted to make sure it was out there, especially because I know there are so many people starting tretinoin every single day and who have a lot of questions and concerns and I have absolutely been there. I know how you feel and I hope that this video helped you in some way. I have an entire tretinoin playlist going through Q&A questions that I've gotten on TikTok, multiple routines, check-ins, 18 month check-in, and soon we'll have my two year check-in on here. I think my next video is going to be an entire drugstore beauty routine. I'm super excited, so stick around and I will see you guys in the next one really soon. Bye.